The power just scored. Your team's players look so pleased. Of course. The score is now 2 to 0. The power is winning. Don't be so sure. Look, Reynolds has the ball. He's taking it to the goal. It's in! So what? We still have the lead. Not for long. We scored again! Now the score is 2 to 2. It's a tie. I'm surprised. The wind is doing really well. I'm not surprised. The wind is a great team. Now I feel nervous. I hope the power starts playing better. Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Hanny. Welcome to part B of this month's Monthly Focus. So far this month, we've been listening in on a conversation between two super fans, Dale and Anna. Right. Dale and Anna are sports fans. Dale likes a team called The Wind. Anna likes a team called The Power. Indeed. And Dale and Anna are at an actual game between The Wind and The Power. Last time, Anna and Dale chatted. They chatted politely. Somewhat politely. True. Anna did act a bit cocky, but she also said some nice things to poor nervous Dale. But now the game has begun. I get the feeling that Dale and Anna are about to get serious. Oh yeah! Now it's time to separate the winners from the losers. Let the game begin or let the games begin. Very funny. <laughs> okay, let's start reading from part B of our lesson. We'll do so right after reviewing today's vocabulary. Dale and Anna 正在看一场足球决赛 那这场球赛是由狂风队对抗威力队 现在威力队刚得分 那比数是2比0 Anna就认为威力队赢定了先来看单字 score score在课文里面出现两种词性 当动词表示得分进球得分 当名词就表示得分或是分数 好,我们先用动词来造句 Nick scored 13 points in the first half of the game. Nick scored 13 points in the first half of the game. Nick 在比赛的上半场拿下十三分。再来看名词的例句. Do you know the final score of last night's game? Do you know the final score of last night's game? 你知道昨天晚上那场比赛最后的比数是多少吗? 好,听到Anna说威力队赢定了。Dale要他别那么肯定，那就在这时候，狂风队的主将拿到球，把球带到球门，就进球了。Anna听了还是不以为然，毕竟威力队还是领先。那接着狂风队又进球，现在二比二平手，好刺激哦。好，这边出现三
Welcome back to part B of our monthly focus lesson. This month's dialogue is called Fans Forever. Remember, Dale and Anna are at a soccer game between the wind and the power. And get this, the power just scored. Yep, apparently this goal is the second goal of the game. And too bad for Dale. The power has scored them both. Poor Dale. Mm, right now, Dale probably looks pretty unhappy, which is the opposite of how the players on the power look. They're up two goals, so of course they look happy. And Dale notices this. He says, Your team's players look so pleased. <laughs> 对话一开始，我们看到威力队刚得分，那队的球员看起来相当高兴。我想 Dale 的心情应该完全相反的，他现在可能不太开心。那刚刚 Jeff 老师用到 opposite 这个字 ，O P P O S I T E， opposite 可以当形容词表达相反的、对立的，那当名词就表示对立或是相反的事物。那接着我们就来看看 Anna 的反应。Of course they look pleased. Says Anna, the score is now two to zero. The power is winning. That's what she said. All right. Now, in the process of saying this, though, she also said something about the score, which just so happens to be the topic of Daphne's first grammar note of the day. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 two to zero， 意思是二比零。Two 在这里是介系词“比”的意思。例如 ，France beat Croatia four to two in the World Cup final。法国在世界杯足球赛决赛以四比二比数打败克罗埃西亚。Welcome back. Remember, Anna is cocky. Even before the game started, she was sure that the power would win. Now, though, the power is actually proving her right. The power is up two to zero. Yup, but but sports, everyone, can be very unpredictable, and Dale knows this. That's why he says, "Don't be so sure." Yep, and then he gets excited, really excited. Why? Because the wind's best player gets the ball. Look, Dale says, Reynolds has the ball and and he's taking it to the goal and 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 it's in. Ah, goal! Wow, wow, that Reynolds character is quite the player. He just scored a goal easily. Hey, who knows? Maybe the wind has a chance. Hmm, that's what I was thinking. But Anna is not willing to even consider such a thing. So Rano scored a goal, eh? So what? She says, "We, the power, still have the lead." And here we have a grammar note to discuss. Let's go to Daphne. 今天的第二则文法是 so what， 意思是那又如何，为口语表达法，用来表示不在乎，可以精简成 so， 或是用 what of it 代替。例如 Daphne 说 ，grammar is important， 文法很重要。如果你不在乎，就可以说 so what。Everyone. Anna is right. The power has the lead, but can they keep it? That's the question. 嗯，球是圆的，什么事都有可能发生。那现在狂风队进了一球，比数变成二比一。在比赛还没结束之前，一切都很难预料。那一个形容词可以学起来，叫做 unpredictable。它是拼作 u n p r e d i c t a b l e。那这个字它是形容无法预测的。这个字里面的 predict predict。
，当动词表示预测、预料。那么自首的 u n 它是否定自首，表示无或是相反。那么字尾的 a b l e 表示能够或者是可怎么样。那么三个部分把它结合起来呢，意思就是说不能够预测的、不可预料的。好了，那我们先休息一下，待会再继续看这场刺激的比赛。Not for long. We scored again. Now the score is two to two. It's a tie. I'm surprised. The wind is doing really well. I'm not surprised. The wind is a great team. Now I feel nervous. I hope the power starts playing better. 2. Welcome back to part B of this month's monthly focus. Hanny and I are reading from a dialogue called "Superfans." Before the break, the soccer game that Anna and Dale are watching—it got interesting. Anna's team, the Power, were comfortably in the lead before the wind. Came raging back. Well, not quite, but Reynolds did score for the win, putting Dale's team within striking range. What do I mean by that? I mean that the score is close now. The power and the win are almost tied up. It's now two to one. Yes, the power still has the lead, but. The wind has hope now, and hope is dangerous. Hope can get people excited. It can make them bold, not unlike Dale. You're in the lead for now, he says, but not for long. Okay, everyone, it's time for a grammar note. It won't be long until Daphne will be joining you. Three, two, one. 今天的第三则文法是 not for long， 意思是不会很久。Not 是否定副词，不会的意思。For 是时间介系词，达的意思。Long 是名词，长时间的意思。合在一起 ，not for long， 字面意思就是不会达到很长一段时间。换句话说，就是不会很久。例如 ，Evans' flight was delayed, but not for long. 一方的班机延误了，但没有延误很久。Okay, not long ago, I said that Dale was feeling hopeful and bold, and apparently, he was not wrong in having these feelings. Why? Because the wind are about to catch fire. Right. Next, the wind even up the score of the game. We scored again, says Dale. Now the score is two to two. It's a tie.、Mm. Now Anna takes this news pretty well, given that she is a fan of the power. I'm surprised, she says. The wind is doing really well. Hmm, that's quite nice of her. How sporting of her! I agree. That being said, Dale isn't feeling so sportsmanlike. Next, he's going to get cocky himself. I'm not surprised at how well the wind is doing. He says, "The wind is a great team." Wow, how the tables have turned! Things are the opposite of what they were before. Get this, now it's Anna who is the nervous one. Yep, now I feel nervous. She says, "I hope the power starts playing better." 这场球赛真精彩，狂风队把握住他们的气势，再度拿下一分，然后扭转局势，变成平手了。现在轮到 Anna 紧张了。那最后帮同学们额外补充一个片语，叫做 turn the tables。turn the tables 表示扭转局势或者是力挽狂澜。Okay, with that, Part B of our monthly focus lesson is done, 
and it's time for a break. But remember, Part C is coming up right away. 休息一下，马上回来哦。The power just scored. Your team's players look so pleased. Of course, the score is now two to zero. The power is winning. Don't be so sure. Look, Reynolds has the ball. He's taking it to the goal. It's in. So what? We still have the lead. Not for long. We scored again. Now the score is two to two. It's a tie. I'm surprised. The wind is doing really well. I'm not surprised. The wind is a great team. Now I feel nervous. I hope the power starts playing better. You can read English. I'm Xiao Yao. I'm Jay. 现在越来越普遍呢，就是商务旅行了。不管是主管呢，或者上班族，常常会要商务旅行。对。所以呢，海关也会针对你出国的性质特别询问哦。嗯，今天就教大家来说这个有关出差的时候，海关会问的五个问题，还有应答应该怎么说。一 ，Where are you from？ 二 ，What's the purpose of your visit？ 三 ，I'm here on a business trip. 四 ，Where will you be staying? 五 ，How much currency, how much cash are you carrying? 第一题，嗯，第一个呢，你从哪里来 ？Where are you from? 嗯，这个句子看起来很普遍，对，很简单，对，但是你还是要乖乖诚实回答哦。<笑>对，那这边呢，跟 Where are you coming from？ 哎，不太一样，不太一样。好，嗯、第一个 Where are you from 的话，它是讲的是你的国籍，好，你就直接说、哦、I'm from Taiwan。嗯、okay, ，I'm from Taiwan。对，那后面这个句子呢，是说你是从哪个地方出发的？发因为你可能有转机，这样、嗯，那你要接下来要转到哪里去、嗯、？OK。好，所以呢，我们要确认一下你的旅游目的跟意图哦。对，他也会这样问 ：What's the purpose of your visit? What's the purpose of your visit? 对，你的旅游目的是什么？出差或是商务旅行？英文要怎么说呢？嗯，很简单哈、哦，商务旅行其实就是照着翻，我们用这个片语、嗯、on a business trip。所以你直接可以回答 on a business trip， 或者是完整一点 ：I'm here on a business trip， 或者是 I'm here on business。哦，他就听得懂。我是来洽工的。是的，接下来他就问你一个很重要的地方，你要住在哪里？你要在哪儿落脚呢？<笑>好官方哦。看你要住哪边。你要住饭店的话<笑> ，I will be staying at the hotel. I will be staying at the hotel. 对，或者是 at 什么什么 hotel， 你可以把它讲出来。记得介系词要用 at at the hotel、嗯。但是他会先问你说你在哪里住，对不对？对啊，你就说 where will, where will you be staying? Where will you be staying? 你要住在哪里？对，对对然后就说 I will be staying at the hotel、嗯。这样，或者是你要住朋友家。嗯， I will be staying at my friend's place. I will be staying at my friend's Place. At. At. Oh. Then 后面那个 at my friend's place. 它是不是字面上是我朋友的地方？对对对。这边 place 呢，就是不管你是豪华的公寓啊，豪华的豪宅、豪宅、民宿、鼠窝，说是公寓、小屋什么的。不管就是 place 这样。对。我会待在我朋友家。嗯。那接下来海关就问你说。请问你带多少钱出门呢、啊？哦、嗯， oh, 这一句你一定要好好的听懂，而且要诚实回答。可能会问了哈、嗯，对，因为你带太多就要嗯洗钱这样。OK， 问金钱的数量用 how much 这个片语哈 how, ，how much currency， how much currency， how much cash。How much cash are you carrying?、Okay. Are you carrying? 对，就看你带多少钱。他可能会用 currency 或者是 cash 这个字这样。嗯、currency 呢是货币哦，就是那 cash 是比较口语一点哦，就是现金。现金 OK，、嗯、好，那记得哦，不要带超过这个
金额的限度，真的，而且你要诚实以答、嗯，不然你如果被查到的话，你反而是得不偿失、啊，因为他可能叫你要提报、申报什么的，要要嗯、就很麻烦、哦。对，比如说我有一千块的现金、嗯、，I have one thousand dollars， I have one thousand dollars， 嗯，接下来看我们的 live action， Where are you from？ I'm from Taiwan。What's the purpose of your visit？ I'm here on business。Business。Mm. Where will you be staying? I will, I will be staying at a hotel. How much cash are you carrying? Um, I have one thousand dollars. Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天要用一分钟的时间来复习在 Monthly Focus 学到的四个单词。同学们，您都准备好了没？一分钟计时开始。第一个单词它可以当动词或当名词，当动词就表示得分，进球得分；当名词就表示分数。这个字叫做 score， score。来看动词例句 ，Brad didn't score in the game. 在那场比赛里面 ，Brad 没有得分。来看名词例句 ，The final score was 92 to 80. 最后的比数是九十二比八十。好，第二单词它有两个意思，叫做球门或是得分，也就是足球那个球门是叫这个字叫 goal。那那么足球里面得一分也叫这个字叫 goal。goal 球门得分。The player headed the ball into the goal. 那个球员用投球方式把球顶进球门了。He scored a goal in the last minute. 他在最后一分钟进球得分了。第三个单词它是当名词，用来指领先或是领先地位。这个字叫做 lead. Lead. Danny had been in the lead in the race until he tripped. Danny 在那场比赛里面一直都领先，直到他绊倒。好，第四个单词它是当名词，表示评分或是评手，也可以用来指领带哦。这是叫 tie. The game was boring, and it ended in a tie. 那场比赛很无聊，就最后还平手，差一点，幸好我过关了。好，不管怎么样，同学表现很棒哦。回去记得要多多复习。那么今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。